Hi everyone, welcome to today's vlog. It's Wednesday today. We've been out for a walk this morning, did about 4,000 steps and it's although it's quite sunny, it's absolutely freezing. The temperature really seems to have dropped. I've even got, I've got my thermal on, I've got my jumper on, I've got all my winter clothes out to have a look at. I'm still trying to like go through everything and decide what to take with me and what not to and what to give away and anyway yeah um I'm at the moment trying to sort out my jewellery I kind of put it all into a bag and it's all got really tangled up but I'm trying to wear each piece of jewellery and again decide whether I want to take it with me or not so I've been going through all my necklaces and bracelets I used to wear necklaces a lot and I've got quite a few necklaces and I really like some of them, so I need to untangle this lot and see if I can find one to wear today. I'm hoping to try this one today, which is a lovely little, I think it's amber. Um, or maybe this one. But anyway, I need to, or maybe this one actually. <laughs> Martin's laughing at me. I'm so indecisive, but it will be whichever one I manage to get free and I'll see how I get on. Oh, anyway, I, what I actually came on here to say <laughs> was that we're going round to my godmother's now because we need to do some more scanning and our printer works best round at hers. So we're going to go and do that and then we're going to head to Chesham. We're going to take her son, who's our friend, out for lunch he likes scampi and chips so we're going to go to the pub I'm probably going to have a sandwich although I'm doing like vegetarian week when I go out I do tend to have like fish because it's so expensive now in the supermarkets that when we go out and there's fish on the menu I do tend to have that and usually in this pub that we're going to I'll have a prawn sandwich so that's what I'm going to have I had a kavag for my breakfast, I'll show you that in a minute, and some fruit. So I've saved my healthy extra B so I can ask for wholemeal bread. And I might have some chips on the side, you know, why not? Live dangerously and all that. And um, I'm not sh quite sure what we're going to do this afternoon, but um, I'm sure I will let you know later. Can I ask a question, Miss? Martin can ask a question. Are prawns fish? They're shellfish, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, what okay. would you yeah, say yeah, they yeah. were? Yeah. Seafood. Well, all right, seafood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to have seafood when we go out. <laughs> anyway, let me go and try and untangle these or we won't be going anywhere. I've got this one free, so I'm going to wear this. Martin's trying to get the rest of them off. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? Oh, I could get a hacksaw out. That no, would no. <laughs> Solve the problem. No, no, no. Anyway, I'm going to wear this one today, see how I get on. And I've got a bracelet on as well. Um, I don't know why I stopped wearing jewellery. I used to really like it. I used to like making jewellery as well, actually. But anyway, I'll show you my breakfast now. And then... <laughs> what? <laughs> so bloody random. <laughs> I know. Martin says I'm random. But hey-ho. I'll show you my breakfast now and then I will hopefully be able to vlog a little bit whilst we're out but um, we have to not keep an eye on Chris but just um, make sure well actually to be fair Chris our friend he's autistic but he walks really fast and Martin and I he's very tall isn't he yeah he's got long legs and Martin and I struggle a bit to keep up with him and, you know, when we say we're going to the pub, we're going to the pub, but there's no time to stop for me to vlog or for anything else. So we have to kind of get a bit of a move on. So it's quite it's quite difficult. But if I get a chance, I'll, I'll do a bit of vlogging or I'll take some pictures anyway. Sorry for being random. <laughs> He's still trying to get the necklaces undone. Are you getting anywhere? Oh. No. Oh, no. Oh, something fell off. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> oh, that's that's a ring. That was my mum's. It's 
pretty. She gave it to me. She she also gave me one of Nan's rings, but this it, they don't fit on my fat fingers. It fits on my little finger. I might wear that today. What do you think? Oh, I think it looks lovely. You haven't even looked. <laughs> There's something else has come loose. Oh then. yeah, uh, this is my Celtic cross, I think this and is. A... And a chain. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's done it. Yes, of course. And another chain. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. That's good. Now I can try all my jewellery over the next few days. Breakfast today is a kavag, which is half a sin on Slimming World. And then for speed, I've got blue breeze and an orange. We are back home, it's about half past four. We ended up staying round at my godmother's for all afternoon. Had a nice chat to my mum on the video call, although it wasn't a very good signal, but we had a little chin wag and made a few arrangements because she's coming to stay soon. Um, we had a nice lunch. I had scampi chips and peas, which is not very Slimming World friendly, but you know what? I enjoyed every mouthful. Our friend Chris, he always has scampi chips and peas and he said it's really good scampi. He's a scampi connoisseur and um, I like scampi so I thought I'd give it a go and I'm really glad that I did. It was very filling actually so I'm not going to need much if any dinner to be honest. I might just have a bit of fruit or a bit of jelly or something. Um, so I won't vlog that. We have got some leftover corn curry from yesterday but I don't... I don't think I need anything that much so um yeah anyway we'll see what was I going to say oh yeah you know we're applying for our non-lucrative visa so that we can move to Fuerteventura what you have to do is get all your paperwork ready and when your paperwork's ready you apply for an appointment either at the Edinburgh Manchester or London consulate depending on which part of the UK you live in we will be going to London and um, they you then take all your paperwork to the appointment and hand it all in and pay and do various other things and then they decide whether you can have a visa or not so to get the appointment you have to amongst other things you have to have a police check it's called an acro certificate and we've had our acros done we don't have any criminal records or any court appearances or anything like that outstanding so they came back clear when you get your certificate back you have to have it legalized which they call an apostille and you have to have it translated into spanish which we've done and you then send a copy of your acro to the um, consular or the embassy and they check it and then they send you an email back inviting you to make an appointment. So we've, we've got the acro, we've had it translated and blah, 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 and we've sent our emails and Martin's got his reply back saying he can make an appointment, but I haven't got mine yet. His came through about half ten this morning. So I'm madly checking my emails every two minutes. So once we've both got our invite to apply for a, an appointment, then we will get on and do it. Because we have to have separate appointments, but we might as well obviously go on the same day and try and... Apparently, if you get your appointments like next to each other, then they let you go in together. So that's what we're hoping, but... I don't know why you've got yours and I haven't got mine. Because I'm more desirable. No, you're not. <laughs> they know Def about your criminal record. I have not got a criminal record, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, so it's a bit, I'm a bit like, ah, where's mine? Um, yeah, so fingers crossed. Apparently, as well, once you get once you've got this invite to apply for an appointment, you go on to their like booking system. And this is only stuff that I've heard on Facebook, so it might not be true. But you go onto the booking system and they they release the appointments in like two weekly blocks, I think. So like the next two weeks, for example, are all taken. So you have to keep trying. It's not easy. And, and so I think we're going to get up really early one morning and try 
and, and get an appointment then. But yeah, keep your fingers crossed for us, please. Um, I got a couple of books today in the charity shop. This one is called Welcome to My World, Miranda Dickinson. It looks fairly sort of easy reading, um, some something about dreaming of tra travelling the globe. and Oh, she's working as a travel agent and then she gets to go to her dream destination of Venice. So that might be good. It looks quite, like I said, it looks quite easy reading, but that'll be good. And then I got this one, which is called Here and Now. Um, I'm not quite sure what this one's about, but I thought it was quite a pretty cover, so why not try it? I'll try it. I'll read anything, me. Um, I think that's it for today's vlog. Like I said, I'm probably not going to eat any dinner, so I won't I won't show you that, because it, it, if I do, it will just be some fruit or um, yoghurt or something like that. I'm working tomorrow. We've got a funeral. I think it's for 50 people and it's a hot, they want hot food. So it's going to be quite a long day. I'm starting work at half eight. So I will put up a vlog on Thursday, but it won't be what I was doing on Thursday because I can't vlog whilst I'm at work. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.